Yo, what is good? My name is O'Keefe Fish, and in this video, we're gonna compare the similarities between a DMT trip and the experience of dying in real life. Many experts believe that right before we die, the pineal gland in our brain releases DMT. And if that's true, this would mean that dimethyltryptamine is what causes all the outer body experiences people have when they die. Plus, it would mean that DMT is the trigger for when people see their life flash before their eyes. We're gonna articulate everything ranging from the science to the philosophy. So if you like this content, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. So does DMT produce the same cognitive effects as literally dying? Well, that's a question that requires a lot of analyzation because it's not a yes or no answer. DMT is proven to be naturally produced in our brain, cerebrospinal fluid, and other tissues in the body. And not just humans either. Many scientists believe that essentially every living organism has DMT inside of it in some way, shape, or form even plants and fungi. So it's not that far-fetched to think that DMT plays an important role in what we call life. It's been theorized that it's released when we dream and when we are born or die, and obviously when you smoke it. So that paired with the similarities of the trip itself warrants a lot of questions about if the experience of death and DMT are linked. When you smoke it, assuming it's a breakthrough dose, your consciousness is basically extracted from your physical body. Your spiritual entity then becomes a viewer of the trans-dimensional realm. You have no emotion. You're not sad. You're not happy. You're not anything. Your consciousness is simply a viewer of everything going on around you. This alone is very similar to what death is. Your consciousness leaves your body, you don't have emotion anymore, and you cease to exist in this current reality. I remember watching a documentary series that interviewed people who had died, but then got revived after being legally pronounced dead. And as they told their stories, all I could think is, holy f this is the exact same thing that happens in a DMT trip. One example is a woman in the show described her experience of death to be eerily similar to this exact phenomenon. Phenomenon. She talked about how her soul was lifted from her physical self and she could see her body in third person. Here's what she had to say. Everything came into a 3D movie and I could actually see outside of my body. My point of view was above my body and next to my body. And I could see everything that was going on in the operating room. In this other dimension, spatial relations break. There is no ceiling. There are no walls. Everything is just moving around in so many different directions. But yeah, what she experienced when she died was pretty much the same thing that happens in a DMT trip. Furthermore, the DMT journey strips you of your ego. Like literally, it's called an ego death. An ego death can feel like both extreme terror and pure bliss at the same time. It basically takes your existence, multiplies it by infinity, and divides it by zero. I've definitely had quite a few of those in my time. It's called an ego death because it takes the understanding of yourself and throws it away. Everything in your life that you thought mattered doesn't mean jack shit. You become aware that the meaning of life is that there is no meaning at all. Why is this similar to death? Because death strips you of your ego as well. Your ego can't exist if you're dead. Another phenomenon that people commonly experience on DMT is being greeted by trans-dimensional beings or spiritual entities. They can be cartoons, aliens, ghosts, whatever. And funny enough, one of the ladies who was featured on that docuseries explained meeting these DMT entities when she had actually died. I was immediately greeted by a group of somethings. I don't know what to call them. People, spirits, beings. I didn't recognize any of them but they had been important in my life story somehow, like a grandparent who died before I was born. They were so overjoyed to welcome me and greet me and love me. Another thing that's common when people are nearing death is they say stuff like, the light, I see the light, or I see a bright light at the end of the tunnel. And this is basically the same thing that happens when you blast off on DMT. The trip is described as going through a tunnel that breaks you through to the other side once you reach that bright light. In this realm, time ceases to exist meaning the factor of time is irrelevant to the space that occupies you. This is why a DMT trip can feel like it lasts thousands of years or that you've lived infinite lifetimes for eternity. I know I've definitely lived infinite lifetimes. And once again, people experience this same exact thing when they die. Roll it. There was an absolute shift of time and dimension. I experienced all of eternity in every second and every second expanded into all of eternity. These people that have experienced death itself 
we're probably just tripping on naturally produced DMT. But yo, in conclusion, whether DMT and death are related or not, both still allow you to break through to the other side, whatever that may be. I do have a lot more information about what the DMT trip experience is like, but first, please smash that like button and subscribe for more good vibes in the future. Following me on the internet is completely free and I'd love to make you part of the journey. And if you want more information on DMT, check the description below for a video made all about what smoking dimethyltryptamine is really like. That's all for me today. My name is Lucky Fish and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Yo, this is actually hella trippy. Anyway. <laughs>